this is Nick Horrocks, welcoming you to the first of Inciber Digital Media's Final Cut Pro tutorials. I've decided to keep these tutorials short and simple, so I'm only going to be showing you one process in each one rather than trying to fit too much in. If you're new to Final Cut, then these tutorials might help you learn a few shortcuts and help to familiarise you with the interface. If you're a seasoned Final Cut user, then you can see these tutorials as suggestions as how you can utilise in Cyber Digital Media backgrounds. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Final Cut's composite modes with a clip from the Inciber library to create a background on which we can then drop some other footage. Okay, well the first thing we need is some clips. So, just go up here and have a look at a clip there. Okay, okay, that's good. It's a shot of a young lady at a computer. We'll just pop her on the timeline. And um, so she will form the, the basis, basically, of our background. That's, there's a lot of quite fast movement there in her hand, so I think we'll slow her down, let's say to about 30%. And um, let's have a look at now. That's better, that's better, because it won't be so distracting when it's in the background. Okay, let's get rid of that audio, because it, it does sound a bit odd. Command L to free those tracks up. Um, Okay, that's good. Now, what I want to do with her is is blur her out and take some of the detail out of the shot. So we'll blur that out with a prism blur. There are all sorts of blurs, obviously. Prism blur, a bit more interesting than Gaussian, which is a standard sort of blur. And what we'll also do there is take some color out. So I'm going to desaturate her by about 70 down to about 70 70 percent so there's a little bit of uh, color coming through now what we'll do is drop our next layer on which which we're going to composite with that shot and we're going to use this this shot here which is divergence blue so we'll just drop that over the top of her okay that's good so now we're going to composite this um, let's go to multiply. Now that that's good. That's good. But that's it, that blue is a bit dull. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is uh, try something else. I'm going to subtract it, which has uh, inverted the blue to orange. Now that may look okay in its own way, but I want a blue background, so I'm going to get one. And what we'll do simply is invert the channels back and in fact you'll see that's come back as a richer blue and uh, looking pretty good it's very knockback very subtle and that will uh, that will be good to put some other shots over the top of which we will do now um, let's go and have a look at some clips here here's some people on a bridge that's nice let's, let's use that that's good. Now we'll just pop that down and uh, essentially create a picture-in-picture -picture image. Knock that down, down to 50%. Okay, and we'll just slide it over there and up there a bit. Um, fine, now we just need another clip. In fact, I'm going to make that a bit bigger. Let's just make that 60%. And what we'll do is balance one over here. Let's find another clip. Uh, that's nice. Some cars at um, the Dartford Crossing. These clips, by the way, come from London Stock Footage, which is an online library of HD um, stock shots of London. They're very, very handy. And we'll knock that back down to four. Well, that's that's going to be different. That's an HD shot, so we'll call that 25%. Just pop that there. Move the other one back a bit. What we'll do is also put a drop shadow on 
on these shots. So I'm going to take away the offset and knock the softness and opacity right up to 100. So it gives us a sort of um, dark glow. In fact, what you can do, you needn't go through this process, you can basically select the this shot, uh, which we've just put the shadow on, copy, and we can do paste the attributes. In this case, drop shadow. And you'll notice that that's appeared now around that shot. It's a very, very handy little tool. Now let's put a push slide for, for argument's sake. This is uh, you know, quite a simple transition. Not, not groundbreaking particularly, but it'll do for our purposes. So we get those images sliding on. Now let's just get rid of that sound because it's annoying me down there. Command L again select the audio tracks and delete them and while we're at it let's save the project or command s if you want okay now before we render that I'm just going to put some music on it um, this will do Okay, now I'm going to have a quick flick through that with my mouse, looking at some key frames. That's fine. So we know all that works. Save it again, and I'll render that now. And uh, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, that's rendered. Let's have a look at that. Great. That seems to work. Lovely. Well, I hope you found that useful and um, will join us for another in Cyber Digital Media tutorial soon. Thanks for watching.